Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. All the talk right now is about EAFC 24 after yesterday's big news, but we're back on FIFA 23 because we've got the second week of Level Up to talk about today with new cards, impacts, SBCs, and objectives today, all to go and upgrade with the Level Up grind. And man, it looks like with this team too, the leaks that we have already, there are going to be some banger cards in this team, guys. So I'm excited for that today on this game, and a couple other aspects i'm excited for in the sbc section about today's level up promo as well we'll talk about that and a little bit of eafc in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new now yesterday pretty quiet day let's be honest apart from all the eafc news we did have one player sbc and it went boom straight into my team just because of the usa squad tim ream a flashback tim ream usa center back fulham legend 90 pace nice card to be completely honest um and only forty five thousand coins so really can't complain too much for how cheap that that is especially as a 93 rated card something to put your duplicate fodder into at the very least now of course yesterday we talked a lot about eafc and if you didn't see it yesterday we uploaded a video of our live reaction of the new live stream trailer all the videos that were released yesterday and of course the news on ea's website now we're going to do more deep dives and more videos of course throughout the summer as eafc comes close and as we learn more and more but make sure you check out that video i'll put it up right here uh if you did not already because there is a lot in there yesterday and ea kind of went crazy with their announcement video uh especially with some of the footballers that showed up for it now let's get to today's content on hand because you may have seen that loading screen, right? We had a loading screen on Wednesday about Darwin Nunez. We have a loading screen right now about Berardi. So two players confirmed there through the loading screen, but they do not really compare. I mean, not Darwin does. That's a big one. But they don't really compare as much to some of the leaks that we have seen. Two massively leaked players have been uh, put on Twitter by Foot Sheriff about today's promo. And in my opinion, they are the top two players that we will be chasing after today for level up team number two, just like a lot of us are chasing De Bruyne and Renato this past week. The first one is Leon Goretzka is coming as a level up card in team two. I mean, Goretzka's team of the season card is already 95 rated. Just imagine how good this Goretzka is going to be. Isn't the team of the season Goretzka... Uh, Club 90, he is. This is going to be probably the craziest midfielder in FIFA, guys. I mean, this card is already Club 90. That means the one that's dropping in packs today, the not upgraded version, probably going to be 96. And then hopefully the upgraded version through objectives would be a 98. Like this is going to be a disgusting card, all right? And he's going to be absolutely insane. And it also works perfectly with the Alfonso Davies that we have had in team number one. So if you've grinded out the Davies and this could impact Davies' price today, imagine being able to have that Davies and that Goretzka in the team. That is mental. Now, he's going to be very expensive. We'll talk about that a little bit more as we get to the market segment of today's video. But Goretzka, that's a big name. And then this one as well, Rafael Varane. I mean, I've used his team of the season moments card for a lot of games and man is he one of the best center backs in this game for sure and he's going to be getting even better with this card released today so those are two absolutely massive players guys that have been leaked and uh, I'm, I'm hopeful for more I'm expectant for more today maybe some leaks before the content drop of course that's only four players that we really know about right Varane, Goretzka and then Darwin Nunez and Berardi those are really all of the leaks that we have but who else are we going to be getting because as we have in level up team one we've got some of these lower tier guys right of course we've got the Cavani of course we've got the Kevin De Bruyne which right now Renato is uh dropping like crazy but the Cavani is one that uh the is like on an easier kind of tier the middle to lower tier cards out of this promo are the ones that I think most people really enjoy and the Cavani card uh from this last week is one it's, you know, he was really, really cheap to do. The upgraded card is very nice. Vlahovic is very popular. I think a lot of people did Sterling because that was a really well-priced SBC. Shalhanoglu, as the objective, was a pretty easy grind. Um, even Fakir, Corona, uh, Foyth, like those, those were decent cards, right? They really were not too bad. I'm really excited to do to see today what are the kind of lower level middle tier cards that are released in level up that you could actually like get done today right of course if you're working on Renato or if you're working on KDB or even Timo Werner like you know it takes like 15 20 30 games but it's these guys right it's the four five ten game guys that are not that bad to grind that you know just might be straight in your team because they're easy to complete and they're actually still really good cards so i'm hyped for those cards today and the potential that those have now the level up team one cards and this objective right here 
is not going away. It is staying, right? And that's one thing we've been talking about all week. And as these cards prices right now on the level one on the level up team one team are dropping a lot. Kevin De Bruyne, 8.3. You just saw me searching up Renato. I'm getting very close to buying Renato, guys, right? The road to Renato has just gotten a lot easier because we've worked our way all the way from 5.5 coins in the last, basically since Tuesday. We worked from 5.5 mil up to 6.6, .6, and now Renato is all the way down. I think he's like 5.9 or something like that. Um, so it's, it's just crazy how much these guys prices drop off. But one thing that's really interesting to me today is how many of these objectives will we be able to combine with the team one and the team two? Oh my gosh, five, nine flat. He's still dropping. This is crazy. I'm going to have to pick him up soon because that is almost the lowest that he has ever been. Um, again, I'm really curious to see how much we can combine the team one and the team two today, guys. And of course, the prices on team one are a lot lower, so it makes things a lot easier in that route. Now, one thing that's not new about today is we know how this promo works, right? Last week when these guys came to the market, uh, Renato was like 7 mil right away, and then he went to 10 mil a couple hours later because it took us a little bit to figure out what this promo kind of was and what it really meant. Uh, and a lot of those cards last week started very, very low early on. This week, we know what the promo is about. I don't think there's going to be as low of prices right away. Like, remember last week, I think it was, um, you know, Tecatito. Uh, Corona started at like, I think it was like 70,000 coins and he went to like 100k. Cavani was like 200,000 coins and went to the 350k on the first day of last week. There's probably not going to be that big of fluctuations right away. Um, I will say one thing that's very nice about today's promo is EA did us a solid in SBCs. This is one of the things I'm excited about for today. They did us a solid, guys, because not only do we still have a 91 plus player pick, or sorry, a 81 plus player pick that is going to stay in the game today. Player picks on a promo Friday that you can save and still craft in and out of after content. That's amazing in its own right. But we also still have the level up crafting upgrades still here for another week. So upgrade packs are plentiful in this game right now. If you want to go buy golds and stack up to try to pack Nunez, Berardi, uh, Varane, Gretzka, and all the others that might be coming out today, absolutely go ahead and do it because that's a great opportunity to have, especially in this late end game part of the cycle. So I would say if you want to try to pack something today, go and build up some of those. I'm going to try to build up some packs myself uh, so that we can have some fun today and maybe get lucky with packing one of the new level up two cards. Now, also last week we had the Sterling SBC, right? That was a pretty big SBC. A lot of people went and did it. And then of course have been grinding the upgrade through this last week. Really curious to see today who they put in the SBC section. It's been Premier League heavy recently. Will they go away from that or will they continue that with the SBC player today? I would be um, you know, expecting one player SBC and also one player in objectives. We had Shalhanaglu last week in objectives. Um, so I'm expecting another player to be added in here as well. Although I'm not sure if Shahanaglu is expiring or not. I've already completed him. So I don't know if this is going away today. I imagine that it's not, but I would imagine we get one SBC and one objective and maybe more, right? SBC content today is where I feel like I have my biggest question mark. We've had good SBCs this week with the player picks, Vieira, McAllister, a transfer SBC. Could we get another transfer SBC today? I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility if EA are going to start sprinkling these in if they needed to find a way to drop a little bit of hype today on a promo Friday I think a transfer player SBC would be the way to do it you don't have a new icon player pick coming today this refreshed yesterday and nothing else is refreshing today guys right uh the 93 plus player pick does not refresh until Saturday or, or maybe Sunday even. It doesn't refresh until then. The 8325 is going away. So in SBCs today, I think it's going to be the player SBCs that really have to carry this thing in the hype of the content today. Or it might seem kind of like a quiet content day and there might be some people that are a bit disappointed with how today's content feels, especially for those that are not huge fans of this promo already. Uh, it might seem a little bit quiet today in this game if that is you. So if you like grinding the objectives out, there's going to be a bunch of grinding again today. Squad battles, co-op rivals, or foot champs. Uh, you can get those done if you're doing, of course, inside of the parameters built in an objective. So there's definitely going to be some opportunity there. Now, until we learn more about the team, guys, watch the leaks, watch Twitter. I would imagine there is going to be some leaks before content, so you'll see who the team is today. But let's talk market a bit because we've been in a market kind of heavy concept. Uh, I mean, mindset this week if we, as we have been grinding towards Renato, 5.88 sitting there. Okay, it got bought. Wow. This is very low for Ronaldo, man. He's just dropping like crazy. Kevin De Bruyne right now, 
is super duper low as well. Guys, for these cards, level up team one today. A lot of panic selling, just like last night with Timo Werner in the video, right? Timo Werner, um, we bought, and then he went up a little bit yesterday, but now he's back down again. Some of these cards, man, you know, if today is going to be an L day, if it's going to be a quieter content day, I could see a few of them going back up. De Bruyne, Renato Sanchez, maybe Enzo, maybe Werner. But again, uh, it all comes down to what other objective players are released. If there's another insane midfielder, with, like with Goretzka released, that's probably why De Bruyne and Renato are both dropping a bit right now in price. It's all going to depend on the price of Goretzka and Varane today. And I have to I have to imagine, Varane might be just like KDB and extinct at 15 million coins like he was last week, because that is going to be the most hyped card today, in my opinion. Goretzka is going to be right there with him, but I don't know if Goretzka is going to be extinct. One of these guys will probably be extinct, but both of them will probably be 7 million coins plus, and starting out very expensive will probably at least help the initial hype for Kevin De Bruyne and Renato. So I'm, I'm watching Renato really closely because I think the buy time, at least for me wanting to get the games in, is coming pretty soon. And for a lot of you guys that have been waiting for the lowest prices possible, welcome to it, right? We said yesterday between Thursday and Friday, you're going to see a low point. There might be more panic selling this morning. It's just going to all depend on what leaks we have and what content we actually get at content today. So watch these cards on the market, specifically Davies too, with the Goretzka coming out. That might be an interesting one to watch. Now, with the cards that are coming out, last week on the market, one of the crazy things that we saw, right, was the Renato Team of the Season Moments card and how it moved because the new one that came out was crazy expensive, right? We're expecting that sort of same thing today. So, for a guy like Rafael Varane, who is going to be in the promo today and whose card is probably going to be extinct or at least multiple millions of coins, for his Team of the Season Moments card right now on the market to be uh, down a good amount, 300 and what is he? 380,000 coins. Uh, and he is top on Footbin right now because people are very excited for this SBC today. You can see that when Varane was leaked, he started to really tank. Went from 400k down to 370. He's 380 right now. If there is further panic selling on this Varane today, yes, I know the TOTS moments and the TOTS pack that's tradable is still out there that is bringing supply on this game every day. But this would be a place on the market I would watch. The Varane and the Goretzka because they may have some bounce backs like we saw with Renato Sanchez last week on Friday after his card, of course, uh, was, you know, like this, we had this huge drop off last week, right? 565, he went all the way down to 400K. Friday comes along, his new card is, you know, seven, eight, nine million coins. Boom, this card goes from 420 all the way back to 490, 500,000 coins for the weekend and then just drops off a bunch during the week. You might have that sort of same thing happen with Varane today, so keep a close eye on that. And if there's anybody else included in this level up um, promo team for team two, like let's say they just throw Griezmann or something. That's just a random name, but let's say Griezmann ends up being in the promo team. Like this Griezmann Todd's card would probably tank with a leak and with him actually being released, but then it would probably rise back at the same time. So just watch out for that today. And also if you're talking market, again, remember that there's a lot of hype around Premier League right now because of the Sterling SBC, the Aubameyang SBC, McAllister. So I would watch those maybe Liverpool cards in, in particular, but I would just watch a lot of Premier League cards, maybe some of your heroes. Like, remember last week we traded with Zaha a little bit? Zaha's price went up a considerable amount because of everybody building Premier League squads due to the fact that the SBC player was Premier League, and that's where a lot of the hype was. So I would watch that space on the market today a lot as well because you just gonna kind of have to go with where the hype is and where the links are and what the teams people are building, right? That's kind of the key to unlocking profit on Promo Fridays is watching that stuff. And then I will say this too, last week Shapeshifters did really, really good. If you're trying to trade and watch the market today, if there's panic selling on any of these guys today, um, I would definitely keep a watch on that because these are some of the most rare promo cards in the game and they're still really recent and a lot of people like to use them in their ultimate team. So I would definitely keep an eye on those today on this game as well. Now let's talk about fodder a bit, right? Um, well, also before we do that, the new level up two cards that come out today, they'll probably be good to trade with as well. I'm not saying they're going to start as cheap as they did last week, especially in the lower tier because people know what's coming. But if like a level up uh, Goretzka comes today and, um, you know, he's really, really rare, there could be some really amazing fluctuations where if you're trying to get these cards as fast as possible, get them day one, get some games played, get it going, 
and uh, then sell as fast as possible so that you get the card right away. I would definitely say watch these cards for fluctuations um, because there's like Nunez, right? There's going to be a lot of people that want to do Nunez. Whether his stats look really insane or not, there's going to be a lot of people that would love to grind that card. So there will be demand for that and he'll have fluctuations today. So watch those brand new level up team two cards. But let's talk about fodder on the market a bit as well. Like we mentioned with SBCs, not a lot going on today. There was more action yesterday on a Thursday with the Tim Ream and the refresh of the 90 plus, And there might be today besides player SBCs. Today's a day where I expect fodder just like it did last week to probably drop off, right? Fridays have been fodder dropping days. Last week, you saw it go from, uh, we started the day on Friday at about 12K for 88s. They were 13, 14K on Wednesday, Thursday. And what happened on Friday? They dropped way down low. On Friday, late night, early Saturday morning, they were 10,000 coins, 9,000 coins a piece. And then Saturday, we got the icon or what, it was the shapeshifter or icon. One of the two of those player picks came out and they went right back up to 13,000 coins. So closely watch, especially with the other, you know, the Vieira um, and the other SBCs that we have had released recently. If these guys go up after content, that's okay. But watch them drop off further into the evening friday tonight and then you know we've been we've been watching them get really low fodder has been its kind of lowest point friday nights uh, i really don't know how it's going to work this week guys because the 90 plus icon player pick uh, is going to be going away on saturday i would imagine it gets replaced with something i just don't know with what um, we don't have any new packs in the code related to icons it seems probably to be player picks from here on out and um, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one to watch to see what happens with fodder. But just be careful with that today um, because I'm not expecting that many crazy SBCs released in this game. So last couple things to talk about. Um, also, I don't know what's going on with these transfer recommendations. They started popping up for me again. Yesterday, it said that Teo Hernandez's average buy price was 500K. I was laughing on stream. It was crazy. A couple of us had that. It's now updated to be more accurate of 300,000 coins. But uh, speaking of pack code... There is a crazy pack here that I want to show you guys. And uh, this pack might not be what you think that it is. It looks like, oh, wow, a number two essentials replay pack that gives 10 players from team of the season, tots moments, trophy titans with one guaranteed 90 plus. That seems like a crack store pack. When's that going to come out? Well, this is actually compensation. Remember the essentials replay pack that was released earlier this past week. It's actually still in the store. This is a compensation pack that's being released, guys, because I don't know if you heard about it. We talked about it on stream earlier this last week. But in Polish and Norwegian, the the text here, this is a compensation situation. The text of the pack description was messed up. So this pack right here that EA has just put in the code is actually them going to give back compensation for Polish and Norwegian uh, essentials replay packs. So this is not a pack that I expect to see dropped in the store that is actually a compensation pack. And then other than that, uh, these are just like lightning round packs, I think. Extra time, whatever, extra time. Yeah, that's just like regular lightning round type of packs there. So really not too much uh, to talk about with that. Now, other compensation that was actually given out yesterday. This didn't impact a lot of people. And EA, I haven't seen them tweeting from their EAFC account. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that it's now EAFC branded and uh, not EA Sports FIFA branded. I'm not entirely sure, but a lot of TOTS cards, if you're watching the market, a lot of TOTS cards dropped in value considerable amounts yesterday. And that was because EA dropped the tradable TOTS pack compensation that was from Ultimate Team of the Season Weekend League when the red TOTS cards were um, mistakenly in those tradable blue three player packs that were, um, you know, supposed to be the blue and they came out as red cards. So, that's what that was yesterday. So if you'd see team of the season prices that dropped a lot in kind of the mid morning yesterday on uh, Thursday, that is why. That is why basically like this happened. Ruben Diaz went from 313 down to 250, went back up a little bit. Now he's 280. But that's why a lot of those drops happened on the middle to low tier. Kevin De Bruyne was one that dropped. Um, Diaby was one that dropped, right? The guys that get packed the most, I think, ben, uh, not Ben Yedder. Well, maybe Ben Yedder a little bit, but Dybala was one that definitely took a hit in price. He went from 415 down to 340. Look, he's back to 380. So price is still moving out there in the market, but that compensation yesterday was a big cause for some of that. Now, I mentioned we're going to talk a little bit more about EAFC in this video as well. Guys, the best advice I can give you is make sure you check out their website. We're going to do a lot of deep dives in videos uh, uh, to come this summer. There's a lot of new things that have been added. I get really EA, what they did yesterday, 
uh, was they put on a, a really big show and they got people excited and hyped. I'm excited and hyped, but I'm also not, you know, uh, I, I see past all of that. I see past the smoke screen, if you will. And I realize as well that uh, what EA is doing you know, a lot of stuff that we want to be fixed is, is maybe not going to be fixed. It's like this every single year when a new game is about to be coming out for FIFA or EFC. Now, um, you know, there's a lot of good and a lot of positive, but there's also some like, OK, what about this? So there's a lot more to learn and we'll be deep diving into it throughout the rest of the summer as we get closer to EAFC. But the pre-orders are open and there's some crazy benefits for pre-ordering. Um, and we'll be giving away some copies of EAFC 24 um, up until August 22nd, which is when um, the actual pre-order date for the bonuses is up. So you got to pre-order before then for the ultimate edition, but we'll talk more about that on stream. We'll do some giveaways on stream, uh, here coming soon and, and later into August as well to hook some of you guys up who've been supporting for such a long time and, uh, just supporting the channel. I really, really do appreciate all you guys watching the videos and, uh, and just kind of vibing with the content, man. So it is amazing. And I appreciate all of you guys for that. So that's going to be the video for today. Enjoy a Friday. Happy Friday. And the road to the Renato is almost complete. I'm going to be watching this Renato price very closely, potentially picking him up very soon. And we will be getting that 94 Renato here in the squad shortly. So if you enjoyed the video again, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate for the camera. Catch you guys there. Peace out.